let's do a quick recap to understand what is central finance and if you have not completed the overview course of uh, central finance mm, i would recommend that you go and complete that course first uh, so that you can understand all the details and functionalities of central finance and then this course will be uh, able to add more value so what is central finance so central finance is a functionality provided by sap to replicate financial transactions from source ERP or non ERP systems into S4 HANA system. These transactions, which are replicated from source systems, are physically reposted in AC doc, a doc a table, which is also called Universal General Table, in S4 HANA system. It is a non disruptive approach so that you can keep your lights running in source system and can move into s4 hana environment in phased manner the first step in the central finance journey was to deliver a single source of truth for financial reporting the, this includes now for planning and consolidation also, the step which SAP is trying to bring is to have this system used for centralized operations also. So that you can manage your systems, your source systems as is and can manage the centralized operations like payments and AR management and tax reporting, all those things from the central system other than uh, doing the financial reporting. So uh, what is central finance? So central finance is, uh, a st um, this is the standard architecture of SAP provided for central finance, now, where you can uh, real time replicate the data from your source system. It could be ERP system or non ERP system into a central finance system using business mapping and um, SAP landscape transformation service. You are required to use the business mapping function provided as part of central finance so that you can, you can replicate the data with central harmonized master data. So you, you have your source SAP system or more than more than one systems. You use SLT, which is an SAP landscape transformation replication service that will trigger events. The moment you post the documents into your source system, it will trigger events and those events will trigger those transactions in the tables to move to center finance system. In a central finance system, you have a business mapping, which is provided as a standard functionality. This is a, an MDG functionality, which is inbuilt in central finance. It doesn't give all the master data governance function, but it gives you a robust mapping functionality. Um, also, uh, central finance gives you uh, the mapping functions for uh, short-lived as well as long-lived objects. This uh, provides you um, a tool called AIF, um, which is Application Interface Framework, which can help you in error handling uh, for your data replication, which is initial load app, can also be uh, monitored and uh, you can have day-to-day -day monitoring where the data replication is happening on real-time basis. All those postings, which is in the source system um, gets replicated and goes into the SAP Universal General, which helps you um, uh, keep your data centralized and, uh, and do your financial reporting. These are the three uh, key interfaces which are provided by uh, SAP um, before 1809. And they have added one more functionality as part of 1809, where you can do the project systems also, which is which is not really an interface, but it's like IDOC processing function, which is on top and we will discuss about that. 
So uh, you can replicate FI and CO documents. So all the FI and CO documents gets combined and gets posted into the universal journal as a single line item. You can replicate um, uh, CO postings or uh, secondary postings of CO uh, into uh, the universal journal also, as well as uh, the internal um, internal orders and like okay short living objects like internal orders and cost objects you can you can replicate on on real time basis from source system into the target systems so these are the standard interfaces which are provided by sap